This is Good Business San Diego. I'm Roy Robertson. Today we welcome back Jim Batrell, a former Marine who is the broker and founder of Ardent Real Estate Services and the Jim Batrell Real Estate Team. Hey Jim, we always talk about buying and selling homes, but you're a great source of information about all things housing. So today, let's talk about the rental market. So we hear these reports, these articles about uh, rental prices going through the roof. Uh, talk about that. Well, yeah, they're absolutely going through the roof. Uh, over the last 12 months, uh, rents in the county have gone up 15 percent. Um, that's double the rate of inflation, if you believe those statistics. And 15 percent on top of already high prices for rentals in San Diego. Not an easy market for sure. So what's causing it? Well, there's there's several things. Um, the first thing is that the amount of construction that's been happening the last 15 years is the lowest rate since the 1960s. Hmm. The easiest way to describe that is... Between, you know, from the, the entire, we'll say market, but you call it the economy crash in 2007, all the way up to 2015, builders didn't buy any land. Right. And then now they're starting to buy land since 2015. But they, uh, it takes, in California, it takes 10 to 12 years from the time they buy that land until it's actually built completely out. Um, you also have Wall Street has been buying an enormous number of properties the last 15 years. In fact, almost 20% of all sales are going to Wall Street uh, companies and they're making them rental properties. So when you own that much of the market, you can pretty much set the rates, whatever you want. And the last thing is, is inflation. Mm -hmm. Housing is not immune to inflation. Uh, inflation has just been pushing everything up. And the bottom line is when you, when you rent, you're not in control. So let's talk about how sustainable you think this is for renters. What are they going to do? Well, what they're going to do is they're going to pay a lot more rent every year. Uh, I know that for a fact. But as far as it being sustainable, you know, Roy, I just, I don't know. I don't know what the renters are going to do. Uh, it's just going to get a lot more expensive for them every single year. And this is just one of the reasons why renting is, is not cheaper. They seem to think it's cheaper, but it's not. It's a terrible idea. Um, for example, uh, I have some clients that were mine uh, maybe three years ago. We were looking at houses. Their payment was going to be about $3,000 a month. And despite all my explanations and trying to make sure they understood it, their rent was twenty five hundred, and they just decided not to own a property because they said that the the renting is just cheaper. Well, you know, I stay in touch with them, talked to them not too long ago, and their rent that used to be twenty five hundred three months or excuse me three years ago is now just over three thousand, which is the same that they would have been fixed for thirty years had they bought that house. Right. Now, here's where their problem really comes in: is their lease is up in June. So, what is their landlord going to do to their their rent in June? I mean, I'm, I'm guessing it's probably going to go up 300 bucks. So now they're going to be paying more in rent than they would have if they just bought that property. But let's extrapolate that out a little bit further. What happens in June of 20, 2023 or June of 2024? So was it really cheaper to rent? Well, maybe for two years, but now for the rest of their lives, it's always going to be more expensive. And that's before you even calculate the psychological stress. Because now I know they're stressed because they're wondering, what is the landlord going to do to the rent in June? How much is he going to increase it? Or maybe the landlord's going to come and say, yeah, we're not going to renew your lease because we're going to sell it. You know, so to answer your question about sustainability, no, it's not sustainable to be a renter. In fact, in my opinion, it's just absolutely devastating. Yeah, I mean, you're so vulnerable. And I guess the way to head this off is to have a consultation with you and find out if a, a renter feels as though there's no options. It's time to weigh the options and take a look at those numbers to understand the reality of renting versus buying. Right. We can explain all of that stuff. We, we actually have sheets that just numbers go out and they don't lie. And it's just so much less expensive to own a home than it is to rent. I was telling you, in my neighborhood in Scripps Ranch, there's this massive apartment complex that's going up. I can't wait mm -hmm. to see what those rents are going to be. It's just going to be insane in this market. Absolutely. <laughs> really high. Okay, Jim Batrell, call for that consultation. It, there is no obligation. Uh, Jim will explain it all to you. 800-498-SOLD. That's 800-498-SOLD is the number. Or jimhasthebuyers.com.